we're doing it. Here it goes. Right. There. Yeah, now we're live. Oh. Um, let's see. I don't use this page very often, so, okay. So that's going to tell us the viewers. Okay. Now we just oh. wait for the people. Oh, they're coming. I, yes. Well, it happens fairly quickly. Can you? Oh, you want to yes. see? I want to see myself. Okay. <laughs> oh. Um. Oh, so you have to sign into the actual live. Oh, yeah. Um. So see, here's our comments oh, sure. over here. Okay. This will tell us how many people are here. And there's a better. So there, off to the yeah. side. Hey, so we have good. 20 people are Yay. here right now. So we're going live in a couple minutes. Well, we are live. We're just waiting <laughs> for <laughs> everyone to get here. Because we're so excited. <laughs> we just wanted to make sure everybody got in. And we figured everything out before we actually got right. started. Hi, Becky. This is gonna There's be no fun. snow in Arizona today, I bet. Well, no, we'll no, have to tell, have mountains. We'll have to tell them what happened last night. Mm -hmm. I know, it's so exciting. Yes. So if you are <coughs> hanging out with us hanging out with us today, you we are going to be answering your sewing questions. So think of some of the things you would like to ask. We have a moderator who will be uh, scrolling through all the questions and asking them as we go. Yes. So yeah, so From we've Canada, got Canada, Beverly. We'll give it hello. another. We'll give it another thirty seconds and hit Hi, one o'clock. And Robin is here. Paula, hello. Where are you from, Paula? India, Santa, oh, Santa Claus, Indiana. Hi, Donna. <laughs> <laughs> did you know that there was a Santa Claus, Indiana? I did not. Did oh you? yeah, I knew oh. that. <laughs> You're not over from by Kentucky. <laughs> I'm not from car that far away from Ew. Indiana. British, <coughs> British Columbia, wonderful. Chicago time. The Windy City. Yes. Oh, oh from so snowy Iowa. Iowa. How much snow did you get? Oh, New Zealand. Yes. This is my Oregon. favorite one. <laughs> Where's everybody from? Ooh, fun. It is one o'clock. Let's do this. Yes. Hello, everyone. I'm Sarah from SewingMastery.com. And I'm Liz from Sew A Lot. And we are answering your questions today in a very special fireside chat. Um, it's special. Yeah, okay. So Liz is actually here in South Dakota. We have actually just finished filming our brand new online course, which we'll tell you about in just a minute. But Liz is always wanting snow. I, I always come to South Dakota. <laughs> Not during the snowy season. No, because that would be ridiculous. I, <laughs> well, I mean, we don't get a ton of snow. Like, not like last night. We don't get that kind of snow. No, so, so we were told we we're going to have a little snow over, overnight. And it was, uh, what, eight inches. <laughs> From the time we went into dinner to the time we got home. It was... It was there it was, was a lot of snow. Snow and it was were it was made. the cool snow, like the ones you see on the Hallmark Channel, the I mean, fluffy big snow globe snow. Yes, and it was just like lightly, and so it just piled up. So we got home and we did something we've never done before together. Was we did snow angels in the driveway, and that was super fun. Oh, you have a I do have a video of the. <laughs> <laughs> and we made snow angels. In oh the my snow. gosh, you do can show. I know. <laughs> oh, here we go. And it wasn't like super cold, which in South Dakota, like it wasn't like windy, which we normally get. And my there... mom already called and yelled at me for not having the appropriate shoes on. Eh, that is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so it was fun. And then, so we were all like bundled, sitting inside, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden. Oh, I forgot about this. It thundered and lightning. No, no, well, well it, lightning. There was a big burst of thunder. light. There was thunder snow. I didn't even know it was a thing. Just one time. And, it was, and of course, my daughter comes running out and says, what was that? Because that's not normal. So you got like yeah. the full South I know. Dakota experience. I did. It was very exciting. Yes. So, all right. Okay. <laughs> so we are here today to answer your sewing questions. So if you've not joined us before, we are Fof, Huskaman Viking, and Bernina dealers. And we're working on an online course. And we usually have a video in our course sort of getting to know us. And we were having a hard time figuring out what we were going to do this time. So we thought we would include you all. 
Yes, so your question. So we also have Jill is in our background and has the uh, moderator job to ask us some questions. Oh, we've got some people from Denmark. I know. Cool. There is snow <coughs> in Denmark. I, I love it. Good. Jill, do we have some questions? To, and then, not yet. Not yet. We're still getting some nice hellos there. Hello from Iowa. Um, I'm, I'm glad our snow is disappearing. <laughs> <laughs> Pennsylvania. I'm going to fly back to Kentucky and it's not going to be snowy. Yeah. Either, so. no, and, and here we get, we, the roads get cleared off really. Yeah. And, you know, school is only two hours late start. It's right. Yeah. Easy. Okay. We're done talking about snow, but it is yeah. the holidays. And so we want to wish all of you a wonderful Christmas. You sew a lot during the holidays. What are you sewing right now? That's my sewing sweet spot. Is when the hol- like I'll start in November and I'll sew until February, and that's pretty much the only time of year I sew. Got it. All right. <laughs> Some of you are um, part of our boot camp courses, Stitching Cosmos online course, Embroidery Essentials. Uh, if there's anything that you are in the middle of, in do you embroidery? sew all year long? Do I? I don't. Don't no. Know. I, it's you know what? Ooh, oh, rope bowls. I love a rope bowl. <laughs> oh, fun. I have not actually, I'm confessing, I have never actually <laughs> done a rope bowl. What? I did a rope bowl and then I uh, ombre embroidery. dyed it. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. And yes. then you can embroider it in a rope bowl. I do have a question for you, Sarah. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, no, you. that's okay. Um, I do have a question. Um, will there be a sewing mastery course for the Amber Air 600? Um, specifically addressing the overstitch hem attachment. Ooh, you know what? We will put that on our list. We do have a few machines we are trying to finish up. Uh, we did pause this week and to film our course. Like I said, we'll still tell you about that. Um, but yes, there. Uh, gosh, we've got a lot of machines that have come out recently. They come out. They come out. They seem to come out in in groups, groups in clusters. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, we we are the ones that are doing all the videos, but we do are in our running. A store so that does kind of take away well, not take away it is our first priority <laughs> there's a lot of uh, irons in the fire we do the videos for our customers but they we are happy to share them with you so it's it's really when we get to them we always encourage you to work with your local store because each store is to be doing classes for you when you buy a new machine from them so that's pretty good. Does Liz have a Sew A Lot website? So, do they know who I am? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, um, yes. So I have a store in Kentucky, and then my sister has a store in Ohio, and our website is sewalotonline.com. We are a buff, who's going to Viking, and Bernina dealer. Um, but you can go there. We are actually Sarah's pushed us and we are actually going to be doing an online course as well on the FOF and Husqvarna Viking ribbon attachment and embellishment attachment and that should be coming out soon so yes that'll be you got your first one I know it's gonna be it's fun exciting. you guys are very high experts oh, look, on everybody's a- working on rope bowls ah, okay maybe yeah. I need to pull one out for like kind of like between Christmas and New Year if it's I'm gonna very- sew it's a very gratifying mm. product because it's oh. not super challenging. You can add little fabric strips around. You can embroider on. I've seen them all beautiful. And people yeah, just haven't asked me questions on that. So, Are you able to change a bomb intention on a creative icon? <laughs> so, okay, this is our, our first official question. Are you able to change the bomb intention on a creative icon? On any machine you buy, with the bobbing case that comes with your machine, mm-hmm. You don't want to tinker with that bobbin tension. You want to keep that bobbin tension the same as it was when it came in your machine. If you want to adjust the bobbin tension on your machine, we suggest buying a separate bobbin case and maybe notating it that it's an extra, you know, take a Sharpie and write on the bottom of it, whatever. And that one you can just go to town on. And adjust then, it like crazy. And then that's the one that you can use for bobbin work. Right. And we do do lessons on bobbin work in the Stitching Cosmos online course. Yes. Yes. Good. I, I, I was going to say, I, there was a lot more popping up as we... <laughs> yes. Good. Yes, I have a couple people asking what the embellishment attachment is on the Epic 2. Oh. oh. Well, it's coming on Epic 2. <laughs> um, it should be out, they think, the first quarter of next year. Mm-hmm. It's 
gives you the ability to stitch ribbons and yarns and beads, strings of beads, you through the embroidery machine. So it's very cool. We're very excited. But if you have one of the original ribbon embroidery attachments, right. you'll definitely want to watch for their course coming out because it's going to really focus on how so to many load things. it, how to use software with it, how to stitch it, how to fix things if they mess up. Yes, there's a there is nobody a lot messes in there. up, right? Yes, but the embellishment attachment is for currently the Icon two. two, and but I did notice that if you did the recent Epic two update, it now is showing Ooh, on so Epic it's close. Two. So, so it's close. getting really that's close. exciting. Yeah, and if you really aren't close. using your Wi-Fi capabilities oh. to the fullest on your uh, machines that have it, um, these updates will just update automatically. But we do have the Husqvarna Viking and and or FOF boot camp course, they ended up being like six hours long of all those things to understand that whole Wi Fi system. So we do encourage you to take care of that. Let's do a pause real quick on questions. We are going to announce and we will paste in the comments here <coughs> what our next course is going to be. I'm going to let you, lovely. here we go, and paste. And okay, so is. that is, it's not live. Well, it is live, but it's not done. So we are doing our brand new FAF Stitch Creator Masterclass. So Yay! <laughs> Stitch Creator is a function that we've had on a lot of FAF machines for a really long time. How many models have we had Stitch Creator on? We counted 18. So, so there how many years? 20, 20 plus. Years. So it's something that we've had for a while. Um, so we are really excited to sort of show people, because a lot of people have it on their machines and maybe have never used it before. So yes, this is a very specific class for FAF users, owners. Um, it's not specifically for like embroidery only. So right. a lot of you with machines like the current FAF Quilt Expression 720 has the Stitch Creator. And our questions always come in like, well, you showed us how to use it, but how do we use it? And right. I'm like, well, you have... <laughs> Yeah. And so we took all your questions and we went in and we had some fun yes. coming up with new samples. There's some pictures on the link where you can go to and um, look and see some of the new stitches we've created. <coughs> we did a challenge. We had what we, we, we did one took a stitch and did some stuff to it, the same stitch and changed it and they don't look anything the same. So, so we did two fun. screens side by yeah. side. She was on one and I was on the other, but we couldn't see what each other was doing. And at the end we had two totally different results. And so yeah. we will share, we will get all the videos uploaded. We have opened this course up for pre-enrollment. Now, if you do enroll, we thank you. Thank you. You can be one of the first, um, but there isn't any videos up there for you to watch. I promise. The, um, we just finished filming right. this morning. Just, yeah, an and, hour ago. <laughs> and now um, behind the scenes, what that means is now we have to do all the editing and then uploading. We've got some handouts. We've got some cool ways right. for you to, um, kind of plan out your stitches so it's yes. a much easier way to putting them on and also where to get inspiration right all right we've got a lot of questions okay so, so let's get back we to have our one darlene wants to know are you going to do any online classes for the bernina 790 i got some ideas okay all so right. she's got something in the fire for you i got there. two ideas for you but uh, they don't happen overnight so i right. need to i'm working it's, on it's, it's a it's process y'all <laughs> Um, Mary wants to know, she's got, she bought an icon during pandemic, traded in her mm -hmm. CS Pro, very exciting. Um, she wants to know what type of needle she uses for quilting. Ooh, so I always ask, piecing, let's answer both the piecing yeah. or machine quilting so question. So I tend to use a Microtex needle for almost everything I do, and I tend mm -hmm. to hit right around a 75 or an 80. For piecing? For piecing, yes. Yes. And then I jump to a top, top stitch needle size 90 for most of my machine quilting. And that answer, that usually covers most of the thread choices I choose. But if you are using some thicker thread, you might need to right. adjust your needle size. Cindy wants to know if we have any videos for online from Premiere 2 software. Well, um, no. Sort of. Um, <laughs> if you go to Sew A Lot, so our, we're Sew A Lot Online. If you go to Sew A Lot Online and you find our YouTube connection, we do have a couple of Premiere Plus, Premiere Plus and Premiere Plus 2 videos. We're working on more of my SoNet videos, which is similar. You could watch some of the my SoNet mm -hmm. videos and do some of the same things in Premiere Plus 2. Um, so there's some videos there. Phil, uh, I don't know what his YouTube channel is. We 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 can we'll go in and post. put some uh, links in and answer your questions kind of after we're done. Right, and we will uh, definitely go back and um, give you the links you need. 
Oh, um, let's uh, Jill, did yeah, you have one from so earlier? Oh, well, I had Darlene wants to know if there are any videos out there for the Bernina software. Bernina, or so they asked us to repeat that questions because they can't hear Jill. Darlene wants to know if there are any <laughs> videos for Bernina software. Uh, I actually <coughs> just answered that question for a customer this morning. I went to Bernina's website in their software, no, in their like education area, we'll put the link. There are webinars on the Bernina software that are wonderful. They have a whole library of software oh, videos. And we, I don't do specific software videos because there's other people that are just higher experts than me. Um, I love the, more the machines than virtual machines. And we're new to Bernina, so we oh, haven't yeah. got, I haven't gotten into software with them so much yes. yet. I, so I do let other people uh, do those videos. That's a good um, question. This is a good one. Vicki has tried to update her Epic and she got the corrupt message. Um, yes. On Epics and Icons, the last round of updates, if you tried to do them via Wi-Fi, some of them kicked back as a corrupt update. If you go to the consumer webpage, either FOF or Who's Confirmed Viking, you can go to the support section and download that update to a USB stick and hard update it with the USB stick. It gives you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it. And if you're, so if you're getting that Wi-Fi corrupt version mm -hmm. just go to the user web page and it can get you right where you need to be yep super easy um but vicky you're here in town if you need us to help you uh, bring your machine in and we can do that for you too jill mm -hmm. um yeah uh, somebody's asking about uh, the dime monster hoops donna wants to know if there's anything she needs to know about them before she starts embroidering ah so the question is about the dime monster hoops donna thank you for asking was that on a specific machine uh she has a bernina 880 plus Ooh. Yes, um, you, the dime monster hoops. I will. Uh, we'll do the short version here. Are kind of rectangular, but you do have to remember as a Bernina user, your stitching field is oval, so you don't have to do anything different. But you do have to stay within the, um, the parameter. Oval. Yeah, your design still has to be in the oval field. So just because you have the corners doesn't mean that you can do a design that is like a full rectangle. Um, it, 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 it does it does work. Um, yeah, just give it a try. But like I said, if your design is uh, showing red, then you'll just need to make sure you aren't outside, and that should work. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, Shayla wants to know if you know of any videos for the Bernina 1230, since it is oh, an older machine. Oh, the older videos for the Bernina 1230. Gosh, I don't even have a model of those to help you out with specifically. But here's the nice thing about... Bernina's is that even though maybe today's Bernina has a screen for buttonholes, they actually stitch out very similar or for a certain stitch. And even though you're using the original presser feet versus like the current presser feet line, the numbers are the same, you will be able to follow along with many of the videos mm. that Bernina puts out. Um, we do have a, a lot of people in our Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course, because that's all sewing related and sewing accessories. You would be able to follow along, no problem, be very inspired to use all those decorative stitches that that machine has, plus all the accessory feet. A lot of you have presser feet and don't know how to use them. So that would be a great one. Again, you can go to sewingmastery.com slash courses and find the Bernina a stitching cosmos course there that would be a fun one too and mary has an icon and she wants to know if there is a special needle she should use for quilting oh well, okay we kind of um <coughs> just answered that one for <laughs> yeah the... i was gonna say we okay. yeah yeah so you could go back That's and watch good. okay yeah, let's go there's there was a lot that came in and all at once joy would like you to repeat uh liz your website uh so a lot online.com Got it. I think our volume is high enough. Yeah, can, I think, I mean, there are a couple of people that say they can't hear. Is everybody hearing okay? Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. And uh, keep dancing. Ooh, I love that name. Um, keep dancing is wondering oh, if it's okay to yeah. use, for example, Embrilliant software for her Bernina. Um, so I am not familiar with Embrilliance at all. Like, I'm not using it. It's for meant anything. to be yeah, used it's for a all universal, brands. Yeah. Yes. And so, for Bernina users, when you use any software, you always save out in e e EXP format right. or DST. One in the same practice. They are different, but as long as it saves in those formats, and those are the generic formats, uh, that software will work with your Bernina, correct? 
And uh, what is the cost for Stitching Cosmos? Yes, it is on sale. So regular price is five ninety nine, and it's either a six to eight hour course depending. So the depending question on was, how much oh. is uh, Stitching Cosmos? Yes. So normally five ninety nine, but we do have a two hundred dollar discount this month, and so that will be at three ninety nine. Good. Hi, Ruth, Michael, Whitney. <laughs> Those are our SVP fan club. Yes. <laughs> Are they being funny? I, I don't know. They need to. to <laughs> they're, they're having their Christmas party having today. Christmas party. Let's I don't want to know what's going on there. <laughs> uh, particular. Okay. Is there a particular order people should take the online Ooh, classes? Then we do get asked that often. Okay. So I will tell I have you. an epic two. Epic two. I do find that people love taking the embroidery essentials course first, especially if you're an embroiderer or you have an embroidery machine, and it's just a fun way to get a good foothold yeah. and get excited and get started. The Husqvarna Viking Stitching Cosmos course is a much longer course. It is not meant to be like a short journey. That's a long journey. Um, and then also the boot camp course. That sort of introduces you to all the Wi-Fi stuff that your Epic 2 can do and uh, my Sonet. Yes. Ecosystem. And if you do sign up for more than one of them at a time, there is sometimes like a little extra bonus discount in your checkout box. Oh, yeah. You can um, add it on. Just remember that when you sign up for them, they will live in your course library for life. So, you know, buy them and then work on them. Like some days I, I hear students are like, oh, which one should I work on? And I'm like, well, do you want to embroider today? Or right. So today. And like if you wake up and you're like, I don't want to put my hoop on. But you want to sew some right. stitches or play with some accessory feet and you just want a little piece of fabric and some stabilizer um, it's nice to have courses in your library to kind of bounce back between so you can kind of jump around to the different lessons so uh, we have an icon too how do you turn on alexa so there's a whole set of steps that you're going to have to do to hook up your Alexa. It's whether you have the Alexa itself or the actual app on your phone. Um, you should have gotten some instructions when you got your machine on how to connect Alexa to your Icon 2. If you didn't, check with, <coughs> excuse me, check with your dealer or send us an email and we can just send you some more comments. Sorry. We've, <coughs> there. I've, I've had her talking all week long. I'm surprised she has her voice left at all. <laughs> uh, dime hoops. We have a couple of people oh. that are asking if the uh, ribbon attachment will work on the Creative 4 5. Unfortunately, no. Uh, ribbon attachment right now is going to work on I from the FOF side. It's going to work on Icon and Icon 2. And then most likely, I mean, we don't know this for a fact, but any more machines in the pipe, we should get more machines that will work with it. Uh, I love my fop. I love my fop too, Susie. <laughs> uh, is there a way, Sheila wants to know, is there a way to get the Epic 2 to cut jump stitches on the back oh. of the work when it cuts its top thread? Not, the, the SVP machines are made to cut top thread and bottom thread at the first. Then as it goes through the design, it's going to cut your top thread but not your bobbin thread until it gets to the very end of that design. That's just how they're made to work. Um, if it's something that you're not going to see on the back, I usually don't really care. <laughs> doesn't really bother me. If it is something that you're going to see on the back, you could do a couple of different ways. You could stop the machine at the cut and manually press the cut button, and that would yeah. cut both stitches. Or you're just going to have to wait and flip and cut with scissors, unfortunately. And this is a slightly different answer to probably not this question, but lately I have been doing some things where you are seeing the back of it more often, like even just the back of a tea towel. And I actually choose to not have my cutter on at, at all. all. Yeah. And I know people, people ask that. like, Sarah, wh why do I have a thread cutter if you're telling me to turn it off? My sister does that too. <laughs> but if you actually make it so it doesn't cut, kind of like old school, um, what it does is makes the back look very, very pretty. Because then it's not going to have the tail from the top. It's, mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not going to have like a little short, stubby, weird tail and then the connecting. And we do talk about that in the quick font class because we do a lot of lettering. And the, with fonts, you want to cut, turn yes, off your cutter That is true. So otherwise it wants to, especially if you have little lettering, yeah. you are gonna, it's going to try to cut between each letter. Well, because think about it. Every mm -hmm. time it cuts, it cuts at the beginning of the letter and the end of the letter. And it's going to have all those, t and they just mm -hmm. get all 
So if you ever look like it's just a jumbled mess, but nothing seemed wrong, it's actually just those tails kind of yeah. getting all looped together. And so by turning off the thread cutter, it makes it look so pretty. Those of you who love Kimberbell and they're doing those cute little sayings around yeah. something, uh, when we host our events, we always say, don't forget to turn your thread cutter off during just even that one process. Yeah, just the, the, the lettering. And they're like, oh my gosh, I had no idea I could do that. I love the look. It also speeds up your embroidery. <laughs> right, because the cutter, faster. the cutter takes, yep. you know, there's this takes pause and then you eliminate the pause. Good. Yeah. Would Stitching Cosmos pertain to my designer SE? Yes, Would Stitching Cosmos work with a designer. I'm helping. I'm yeah. helping oh, you yeah, sorry. Sarah forgets. She gets excited and she forget. Would Stitching Cosmos work with a designer SE? Yes, oldie but goodie, right? So you've got, <coughs> you do have a lot of presser feet that is available for your machine, and you have great decorative stitches. So yes, the Stitching Cosmos course is designed to work with all models of machines. So there is a Husqvarna Viking Stitching Cosmos, a Faf one, and a Bernina one. Um, there are free videos in the course curriculum labeled preview, meaning you can go and watch some of those videos for free to see if the course is right for you. And the best one to start off with if you're like what is stitching cosmos we have a video as part of your lessons to start stitching out your stitch book and a stitch book is you stitching out all the decorative stitches and start there see if you get as excited as I do and then that's going to lead you into the next part of the course and stitch books you've also got a link for foot books yes for the Foff and the Husqvarna Viking yes so the digital versions of the Foot books. So if you've got a buff or a Husqvarna Viking and you want to see what all the presser feet are and how they work and mm -hmm. what they do, this might be a nice little gift idea for yourself. Should we tell them they're being updated right now? They are being updated right now. So if you do buy the current version <coughs> of the digital foot book, the digital, yes, you will get the next version, um, no charge. So at the end of this year. It'll be ready at the end of this year. Are you, are That's sure? what I heard. I, I know the I'm digital, like... The digital will be ready the end of this year. The hard copies oh, yeah. will be in January. So that will be... Um, yeah. Look, at I least that I... was a promise that was made. To <laughs> pointing your finger at pointing at one you out there, you know who I'm talking to. <laughs> and you can also download from the digital foot book right. two pages for free. For, for free that have all the feet on them. And you can, like, our customers go in and, like, highlight or check off the ones they have. And then, and also, too, have you ever had a foot? People bring in feet to you, don't they? Like, what was this? I forgot what oh, the package is. The zipper is. foot, especially. Like, oh. a zipper foot is one I get brought a lot. And they're yeah. like, what is this? I'm like, it's so a those zipper foot. pages have the pictures of the feet. So if you're holding one, you can you match can it up. You can see it. Yes. And, you can, like I said, you can download yep. those um, pages for free from our digital foot books. Kathleen loves that the courses are all lifetime access. Yes. Okay, so lifetime access means that you can go back to it anytime you need to and review. Well, and, and once you register for one of the courses, you get it right then. Like you can start instant access. Right. You start working on it and you can use it whenever. So if you're up in the middle of the night and you're like, I'm not a, none of you are up in the middle of the night, right? <laughs> um, yes, it is instant access when you're doing that. Hi, Beth. No, there's not been any updates to my Sonet recently. Yeah. Um, but since you're one of mine, I'll let you know if there's <laughs> an update coming. Um, let's see. Kathleen's best press doesn't work as good as she would like. She wants to know if Ooh. there's something else you can do because without so much ironing. <laughs> well, there's a lot. I like flatter. Oh, I've been need using, to answer I say the question again. What was? Oh, uh, Kathleen wants uh, to know about best, best press. press. So who does, it doesn't seem to work, and who wants to iron so much fabric? What do you do? Well, Okay, okay, there are some things. You could use Best Press, Flatter is nice. There's a new product that's really good that's sort of in between Flatter and Best Press that I like a lot. Um, I get it from Checker. The other thing that I played with this week being here in the South Dakota was the Lore Star. I mean, it's not a spray and it's pricier than uh, a spray, but a Lore Star iron is going to flatten down whatever you need to flatten. So, yes, we'll put some links to the Lore Star irons we now use at our event center. And I did something the other day that I had to, I had embroidered something so dense. And then when I needed to actually sew it together, it had to actually lean the other way. And uh, I'm like, oh, this is not going to go well. And I just. Here's the other yes. stuff. Uh, oh. Magic. 
That's the other stuff. Ooh. Magic. It's a newer product. It's been out. It, we found it at Paducah this year. Magic Premium Quilting and Crafting Spray. And it's, I really like it, too. See, I'm learning stuff. Yeah. Ooh, <gasps> I'm going to have to get a Laura Star one. I'm going to have to call my Bernina rep. And yeah, and the Laura other Star. thing about the Laura Star is um, it's not, when it steams, it's almost like a gas. Right. And so, like, you can <laughs> so hold this that wet. Yeah. So you can, like, hold the, the iron as it's, it's steaming in the air and hold your hand right up to it. And it just, I mean, it won't burn it. It'll be warm. It feels good. <laughs> right. Um, but it all also makes things lay super flat. So, and it also sanitizes. Um, I am excited about that too. Yeah. So whether you want to like clothes or bedding, or... somebody said bowling shoes. Oh, we're testing out. Um, yeah. That's, so we haven't actually done it yet. That's what that somebody was talking about. Bowling we shoes. are going to do a few tests on, on that because we have some new things. <laughs> do good. any of your classes are they good for people with a tin needle? Oh, okay. So I too use a tin needle, but not enough to like keep it memorized, if you know what I mean. So our embroidery essentials course is designed to give you something to help you master. You're going to have to find your own functions. But the cool thing is, is that you are learning while you're doing. Does that make sense? So it's the actual act of having something to finish that will get you to learn the parts of your machine. So even though it's not made for like, it's, it's made so everybody with any brand of embroidery machine can take the embroidery essentials course, including 10 needles, because um, it's on my list to do, but I need to do my own course on a 10 needle because right. I, for a while I was using it, but I haven't used it for a bit. <laughs> and now I'm. It's a different. It's different. It's different. And I understand. Multi, multi needles are different. So than we singles. do have people who have been in that course and went, oh, I am a fan of my tin needle machine or multi needle machine, right. and has um, become be proficient because they went through the course. So yes, I would say please try that. Mm -hmm. Jill, you wanna? Two different questions that yes. kind of go together. Um, a good stabilizer for tiling scenes and have you used Terial Magic or what do you think? I have oh, used Terial Magic. Okay, so um, what to use for stabilizer on tiling scenes? I haven't done a tile scene in a long time. From Oklahoma Embroidery? Yes. In a hot minute. So you do, first up, it's the fusible I was gonna say, can I tell you what I used to do? Well, I don't know. Is it, well, what I used to do back in the <laughs> olden days, because it's been a minute since I've done a tiling scene, was I did fusible pellon on the back of my blocks. So like the fusible so, wells. So woven. fusible woven and on the back. And then I used a... Uh, heavy tearaway. Uh, well, I usually use a heavy tearaway or a uh, no-show mesh. I like a no-show oh. mesh. I use a no-show mesh a lot. You need the stiffness of, of the tearaway. The tearaway. That's okay. what you need. And usually two layers of the heavy tear away okay so you're really i mean those blocks are solid you and then we discovered which it's going to be a wall hanging so you don't want it to be uh, yes so we discovered so normally when we've done tiling scenes we just kind of press the seams open like we were supposed to and then we put a piece of but the laura star probably just really yes it right open. <laughs> but we used whip batting and then stitch in the ditch yeah. the other day the girls took and used the laura star ironing system Steam pressed through this, flattened the seams out, and it was so flat, so flat. We used no batting, and it hangs like oh, a really picture. Nice. It is nice. gorgeous, and people feel it, and they're like, "Well, what do you have inside it?" And we're like, "Nothing. We just pressed it so well." So if you do have trouble pressing, check out a lot of Bernina stores carry the Laura Star ironing systems. Um, you don't have to get the fancy <coughs> ones with the the ironing board and everything. Um, this is just like one that's like sits. You can use on it. any ironing board. Any ironing board. Yeah. Linda okay. Wants to know if we have them in the store. Who does? Do, Linda Sylvie. Do we have Hi, Laura, Linda. Laura stars in the store? We do have Laura stars in the uh, store. Do you have one on your Christmas list? I don't have one in the store do you want in one for Kentucky, Christmas? but I no, I you can, know what? I can order one. And the one that we have, like, well, there's one that matches your I shirt. have a nice sales rep who will <laughs> gladly sell me oh, one if I need that's one. That's right, you can get one too. <laughs> Here, we'll put one in your suitcase going uh, on. There you go. Um, another question? Um, we have somebody that said, once you fill up the accessory case that comes with your machine, are there any other options? Is that a Bernina? So, the Bernina so we have a question. Accessory? Once you... Once you fill up your accessory case, is there something else? So, like the accessory, the tray or the actual accessory bag? 
The Bernina, Bernina one. makes a really nice accessory bag. Oh, yeah, it's got all the places. Right, yeah. Um, uh, it's meant to hold all the feet. Yeah, and it's got little compartments for everything, and it's really it's black, nice. It's black, and it's yeah. zippered, and it opens up, and it has, like, layers yeah. with pre-cut-out place for all the feet and accessories. The circular sewing attachment fits in there, right. the ruffler, your stitch regulator. Yeah, everything. Yeah. Ooh, Juki, I see uh, oh. Danielle asked, Juki was stitching Cosmos. So if you have a Juki, Baby Lock, Brother, or Singer sewing machine, we recommend that you enroll in the Husqvarna Viking Stitching Cosmos course because the feet and accessories are the closest that we have. <laughs> and we do have we do have a video that will explain that on that course, like who's, who's all invited. So we do encourage you to take that one specifically. Okay. Tell Linda I have the drooling tissues made for her. Oh, J J <laughs> Linda, Jill says she has the drooling tissues waiting for you at the store. And I saw this with my own eyes the other day. So our customer comes in, she goes, you need, you need drooling tissues. Because she came in and she was like salivating over some of the new product. And, she, and so we have that for you next time you come in to pick up your Laura Star iron. So I've seen two questions about ruler work. Ooh, courses uh, yes. done with ruler work. Yes, what about ruler courses? Do you have on, any we, intention? We recommend that you follow the online courses that So Steady yeah, has in their so Steady University. Yeah. We'll put a link up at the end. And that's it will, the best place to get it info. Will, yes, and it'll be an affiliate link. So if you do click our link, we do get credit for your purchase. But if you can't wait, just go straight there. There's quite a, oh, 50 plus courses. There's a lot. With a lot of different instructors, and they do an amazing job. Yes. Um, Vicki wants to know if there's a better adhesive spray. Not sure if she means temporary or permanent. Somebody wants to know if there's a, Vicki wants to know if there's a better adhesive spray. Oh, depending on what you want to adhere. I use, I was going to say, the only real adhesive spray I use is 505 for mm -hmm. quilt basting. Because it doesn't smell and it doesn't come yeah, up your needle. it smells a little. <laughs> what are you doing? 505? That no. smells a little bit. Oh, not at, like the others. Not stuff. like the others, no. Ooh, Invis who's this, talking about invisible zippers? I uh, love Donna. me an invisible zipper foot. Donna loves her an invisible yes, zipper foot. Yes, the Bermina too. one is a beautiful invisible zipper foot. Um, yes. uh, oh, and then store. Do, yes, adhesive spray. Colorado. Chris is from oh. Colorado. Doesn't carry a cough. Uh, oh, <coughs> tiling scene stabilizer again? Uh, go over it again. Oh, yeah. Uh, she, so we said woven fusible and then two layers of heavy tear away. Yes. And Oklahoma Embroidery does a cool tiling scene stabilizer bundle. If they have them available, yes. we'll put a link here at the end. Um, and then it comes, if you get the bundle, and it you get comes some designs. With four, four free tiling scene design collections. So you can practice. <laughs> yeah, you can add it to your. Um, to-do list. Uh, Good. My dealer doesn't sell Foff branded stabilizers. We mm -hmm. don't actually have Foff branded stabilizers mm -hmm. yet. They are coming. Mm -hmm. um, they're in the pipeline of products. Uh, currently, they've got Inspira. Uh, we also sell Kimberbell. We sell OESD. OESD's yep. got nice stabilizer. Always um, has. Yeah, it's yeah. they've they're, they've got a really nice product. We'll put some links. Like I said, we'll go back. It'll it'll take us a little bit to get through all the questions. And they they are working on Foff branded software. It's just not out available yet. That's why your dealer doesn't have it. See the drool tissue. I box. know. Uh, oh, thanks so much, Danielle. You're welcome. Oh, somebody wants to come to the South Dakota. Do you have upcoming in-person classes planned for next year, Sarah? Chris Ooh, wants yes. to come on a road trip. Ooh, road tripping. Yes, <coughs> so we on the heirloomcreations.net website on our classes. Everything that currently is scheduled is on there for 2023. Karen wants to know if we have any tips for sewing with invisible thread. Ooh. Well, well what's your, I have a few. So <laughs> there's a different, there's, there's two types of invisible thread. You can buy a nylon invisible thread mm -hmm. and a polyester. Don't buy the nylon. Not now. No. No, the polyester is the better. Polyester is better. Um, there's um, a couple brands out there. Arafil makes one that's I do like, and then Superior Threads. I don't like to use invisible thread in my bobbin. Mm -hmm. You can, mm -hmm. but I don't. You don't have to. Yeah, I don't like it's to. It's kind of, uh, eh. uh, You don't want to sew at full speed with invisible thread. 
And Sometimes you might use a top stitching needle. The a thread stand for oh, those of you who yep. don't have it like pre-built into your machine that it has the thread stand. And sometimes that thread stand all set a ways away from the machine, especially if it's very kinky when it's coming off the spool. But the thread stand and that a thread net over it has yes, also thread net will help so that it doesn't come off so fast. And you usually have to take your tension down half the distance. So if you're sewing with a stitch that has a tension on your machine at say four that I'll often use and bring it down to two. Otherwise, it starts to bring the bobbin thread up. And I do like RFL thread in my bobbin when I'm, so a, a 50 weight, and then that way is, it's a thinner thread, and then it's matched a little bit smaller weight with the thinner weight clear thread. Sue wants to know, does Viking have a foot case? It does, they do have a foot case. It's that square. Yeah. Or rectangle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was waiting. It was gonna, I knew it was gonna kick. Like, Wait, what? Fahaf and Who's Converting both have a, it's a rectangle skate. Yes. Shaped. It's not a scape, it's a shape. And it unzips on three sides and then opens up like a book. Oh, and then it's got all the these pages with yes. little zipper pouches. And you can put scissors and pins. You can put mm -hmm. more than just press your feet in it. And I've seen some people take the like the little page out of the um, and they're velcro. Yes, because they're velcroed in the pages. Yep, but the little page that has what it is, and they slide oh, it yeah, in, and yeah, then they yeah, put yeah. their fit on top of it. So sometimes they can instead of having to make your own extra yes. labels. Yep. You should get those. You should be able to get those at your dealer. That's a good Christmas present that for Santa. Is a good Santa Christmas to bring you. Yes. <laughs> Full of presser feet. Ooh. Oh wait, no. <laughs> Metallic oh. red. She's making freestanding lace ornaments. <coughs> okay. We need to be a little slower. We get too excited. <laughs> okay. So what was it? Freestanding lace? Free standing lace but with metallic, metallic thread. thread. Ooh, good Your question. What type of machine are you sewing on? That would be another thing. Um, another stand-up spool stand. Uh, thread nets. I will tell you, not all metallic thread is created equal. Right. So if you have... If this is kind of new, try a different brand of metallic thread until you find one that is easy for you to use. So once you, I know there's some out there that I'm like, uh, I can't get it to work either. But thread nets, standing it up. And metallic needles. Metallic needles or top stitching needles because mm -hmm. the bigger eye, less friction. Yes. Um, try those things and see if they help. <coughs> what have you heard about the embellishment attachment for the Fox Icon 2, Roxanne asked. Okay, We've been waiting here's what we May. know. Oh. Here's, here's what we know. We know that the ribbon and embellishment attachment will work on the Icon 2. But she's we, been waiting. I know. Oh. I'm getting there. Okay. We know, because we had some other questions about uh, HV and the embellishment attachment. Okay. We know that the ribbon and embellishment attachment is going to work on Epic 2. We know that embellishment attachments are going to be released in the first quarter of 2023. Basically, what happened, we'll be honest with you, they had a couple that were having issues. So they went back, they said, nope, pull them, we're going back to the factory, we're going to remake them, and we're going to make them right. So unfortunately, it stinks that we had to wait for them, but I'd rather have it done right than maybe some of them work and some of them don't. So I'm happy when the company does that kind of stuff. Um, we don't know if embellishment attachment is going to work on Icon yet. We hope it will. We don't know if I, or embellishment attachment is going to work on original Epic yet. Again, we hope it will. But that, we, I don't have a de definite answer on those yet. But I'm hoping. Ribbon attachment will work on both of those. Okay. But that's what I know about embellishment and ribbon. Uh, Linda wants to know um, how she can tell what sewing machine needle is, what, what type of needle she oh. has, like if she, it's not in her case. It, uh, you get a magnifying Wait, glass. Question? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, she wants, what was her name? I'm sorry. Uh, Linda. 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 <coughs> wants to know about what needle. Okay, you're Okay. <laughs> uh, about what needle the, oh, <coughs> I'm going to say I'm going to steal your water. <laughs> uh, what needle is in how, the machine. How she can tell what needle is what if he doesn't have them in the package. It, it depends on the brand. Well, okay. what, what needle is what? Yeah, so on some of the newer brands, they are color-coded. And you can actually go to the brand's website and look at the color coding chart. Right. One color will be what type of needle it is, such as embroidery, top stitching, metallic. 
and the next color will indicate if it's like a 70, 80, or 90. And that's been very helpful um, in the yeah, needle that, world. Yeah, the needles, that's you take them out sometimes, and mm -hmm. it's hard to know. Can I tell what kind of? Oh, yeah. That's good. That, those are good questions. Yeah. And then do you need to have special software to use the embellishment attachment? Do you have to have special okay. software to use the embellishment attachment? So the embellishment attachment has got designs that are already pre-made for it that you can purchase from MySonet, or if you've got a subscription to MySonet, you get access to them for free. If you have MySonet software, you can digitize your MySonet Platinum software. You can digitize your own embellishment attachment designs. And so. that is a software that you can get a 30-day trial and do ribbon embroidery attachment designs in the level she just said and be able to try it out and create yes. your own. So you can do that. Mm -hmm. And Vicki wants to know what kind of invisible thread you guys like. What's your favorite? Um, oh, think, what's, uh, what's your favorite invisible thread brand? I think we have, I don't know what we have. I what do we sell more? Arfil or we sell no more of the monopoly. I think that's okay. What we so have. from su superior. superior superior threads. Yeah, that one's a pretty good. We've had good success over all the years. That's the yeah. one we have. Good. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's a, whew, this has been fun. Oh my gosh! Thank you, I everybody, told you for that asking they questions. They would be very good to yes, ask you are. questions. Uh, you are <coughs> you are welcome, Nad from Ontario. Oh, what's your Wants to know what our favorite machine is. Oh, look, Marcia's here. It's Marcia. I know she's been chatting. Oh, okay, sorry. I have been... <laughs> what's, what's your favorite machine? Keep dancing. Wants to know what your favorite machine oh, is. What's your favorite machine? <sighs> well, uh, my first machine was a seventy-five seventy. Fof. Fof. So I love a seventy-five seventy. <laughs> um, currently, what I have at home is an Icon Two in the dusk fabric. <gasps> And limited my, edition. my mom said the other day, you could always take that back into the store and sell it. If you, I was like, you've lost your mind. I'm not selling my machine. Um, I do like, uh, I like the new K475. The Bernina the little, K faucet. Yeah, I like the little blue guy. Oh, he, that is a cool machine. Yeah. <laughs> um, at times I've had an Epic 2 at home because an Epic 2 and an Icon 2 are nice to have together because they <laughs> sort of work well together. And they do different things. Yeah. Yes. And many of you know I even used to work for Bernina. I grew up as a Bernina girl. I still love Bernina machines. Um, but the other day I did do a video. It's been a while. Well, when the Fof Icon 2 it. came out. It's in print. I, I did. I went... Oh, this, it just, and I was sewing on it the other day, while working with some things for the Fop Stitch Creator Masterclass, and I, I, I was like, yep, this is, this is, if I had to pick one machine today, I would give up a few things that other machines had, oh, I can't believe I'm saying this out loud, and I would do a Fop Icon 2 in a heartbeat. I feel like our... Fof friends that are online are going to be very excited with that news. I don't know if our Bernina friends. I do love a Bernina because it has some of the amazing do, accessory feet. I do like the Bernina. You are falling in love with Bernina. <sighs> Shh. Now they're now Fof friends are not going to be having. I do <laughs> like the Bernina long arms. We do. Which do. I don't yes. have really a long arm with. I mean, and I do love a Bernina serger. Oh, because they're quiet. Yes, and they are. But I'm always going to have a Fof top of the line. I got it. Because that's yeah. my preference. That's true. I do quilt on a sit-down Bernina yeah. Q16. Yeah. No. Um, that I'll, is my, my go-to for <coughs> pre-motion quilting. I'll always have a... At home on my desk will always be a off top of the line. <laughs> um, is the boxed pre or platinum software from MySonet as good as the monthly subscription? Okay. So here... Uh, <sighs> Okay, my Sonet. You got some options with my Sonet. First of all, if you've never had my Sonet software and you want to check it out, you can get a 30-day free subscription. Okay? So here's what I suggest you do. Go online, get the 30-day free subscription. Then you have choices. You've done your 30 days, you've used it, you've liked it, you've loved it, you want to get it. So you have two options. You can, maybe you don't live close to a dealer. You can do a monthly subscription. Or maybe you're close to a dealer and you prefer a box. You can do a box version from your dealer. That's an option. Or, this is also a fun one, mm -hmm. if you're close to a dealer 
instead of paying monthly the yes. subscription version, you can go into your dealer and buy 10 months, you buy 12 months for 10 month fee, yes. right? So you yes. get two months free. So you get two you... months free if you buy your online subscription for the whole year direct from your dealer. Um, it's up to you. The big difference is gonna be is if you do the subscription, you're gonna get updates, 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 um, not updates, upgrades. Yes. As the, your, your, your software is always gonna be up to date and ready for anything. If you buy the box version and we, they come out with some new module, you're not going to get that new module if you buy the box version. So if you're paying month to month, you're going to get it. If you've got the box, you own it, it's yours, that's what you get, that's what you own. Does that will, make sense? Yes, it does. And actually, I will put a little plug in. Um, I'm a Mac user. You're a Mac user. Right. That for our Mac users out there, the MySoNet <coughs> embroidery software um, is Mac, a real Mac software. Right. It's the, and then the last I PC. heard, it was the only embroidery yes. software that you could do on both Macs mm -hmm. and PCs. And so for those of you with Bernina machines or other brands of embroidery machines out there and you also are a Mac user, you might check it out also because it is designed for the Mac. But regardless of what yeah. machine you own, the fact that you can get a 30-day free subscription, mm -hmm. you might yeah. as well try it and, and you see can, if you like it. And the nice thing about subscription is if you only use it during your sweet spot of right. sewing, like you, right. <laughs> you know, you can have it for here. three months and then turn it off yep. and then yep. use it, you know, turn it back on at a later But time. I like the box stuff. I, I, I like to have it because I like to use it wherever I am because you do mm -hmm. need to have Wi-Fi to use it, um, the subscription part. So, but yeah, it's, I love the MySonet software. Ooh, Darlene Zimmer has, oh, she's one of ours, um, has a great tip about uh, labeling your needles. Take a piece of cardstock when you open a needle pack, mark the cardstock, and then stick the needle on the cardstock. And then, and then that way you'll have your color. Oh yeah, good idea, thank you. I'm a Bernina gal too, yes. <laughs> what do you think about the Burnett Airlock <gasps> Serger? I just got one. Yeah. I just got one? Yeah. There it is. <laughs> it's really nice. Um, I like that combo, that combo 68. It's, it's, it's fancy. Yes. It's quiet. It does the cover stitch, does overlock. Um, if you don't want that, they have the other two options, the... Uh, 62 and the 64. Yes, and I like the cover stitch only machine. So for those of you who have a serger already, but want cover stitch, right. like you were like, oh, now I want cover stitch. It's nice to have a separate machine. You can buy a cover stitch only burnet, and that model is a, six, a 60, 64. <laughs> I've done videos 64. on it. <laughs> yeah. Yes, all right. Thank you, everyone. Sarah, you. 62. 60, oh, 62 oh. is the cover stitch. 64 is the overlock. Geraldine, yeah. I, I know, but if you sew on a Fop Icon 2 and Geraldine, just... Geraldine, there's nothing wrong with having more than one. Oh, yeah, the way, I do have people that actually set up for Stitching Cosmos with multiple brands, and they get uh, the other courses, like one for their Bernina, one for their Fop. So we do have a lot of um, things. Okay, so how about a uh, few more minutes here. We'll take a few more questions and then you can still ask questions and, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll start typing away. This will be recorded so you can always go back. I know some of you said we were t talking a little fast. We do get excited. Um, by the way, <laughs> it's a problem. If you ever are watching one of my videos, you can slow them down. So down in the corner where there's a little picture of a gear on YouTube, you can actually reduce the speed so we will talk slower. So you don't hear our enthusiasm. <laughs> um, but that's the thing. I do understand it is sometimes hard to listen. But that's another nice thing about our, our online courses Sorry. is that you can go back and rewatch and then like catch the information a second time through. Um, the things you missed the right. first time through. Good. Ooh, ooh. Here's Susan asks, "What thread do you suggest for sewing bags using cork, vinyl, leather, canvas, etc.? Um, thread? Um, I just, uh, I just use do you know cotton. What I, I use um, Isocord polyester thread. <coughs> oh. And then, if necessary, if you need to really make it um, stronger, use the triple stitch on yes. your machine. Yes. Yes. What? Level? What? 
Yeah, the 12 months or 10 months. Okay, so Cindy wants to know, that's any, you can get any level for. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you can get the silver, the silver or the platinum. I couldn't think yeah, of what the your color dealer, was. Yes, your Fopper Viking dealer can help you with that. You bet. Is the monthly software on computer or machine? Is the monthly software on computer or machine? It's on the computer. Yes. It's on the computer. You use it on the computer. Um, if I create a design and software, then do I own it or do I only have access to it as long as I have a subscription? You own what you create. You own what you create no matter what. If you have a subscription, you have access to the library and you only have access to the library as long as you have the subscription. Um, Linda, not a question, but everyone needs a kangaroo Aussie 2 sewing cabinet. Yes. Oh, and wait, an embroidery sewing cabinet. That embroidery storage cabinet yes. is awesome. Yes. And we are both uh, arrow dealers, so yes. and we it's do, fine. We do we, keep a lot of our cabinets in stock, the popular ones, so when you're ready to get one. Um, the other thing cool about those, when you get them from a store, is they come fully assembled. Yeah, if you buy them online, they come yes. in pieces and you have to put them together. And get an airlock serger. Yeah. Yes, yes, Linda, we love you. <coughs> mm -hmm. Linda, when she comes, she sings oh. to me and our in the class. Um, and the class, like her own, her like she'll come up with a song. Oh. She's like karaoke, but without. But I Linda, think, why? Okay, why should I get a serger? Oh. They're just handy to have. Um, why, I mean, why do you have a microwave? Right. Done. Okay. Exactly. It's, I the, mean, it's the microwave of your sewing You room. can use them in quilting. Yeah. You can use them for bags. You can use them for garments. You can use them just to finish something up and make it pretty. Yeah. Reduce the speed on you all sound truck. That's true. We probably do sound a little. Uh, yes. Um, when I sign up for videos, what machine should I sign up for when I have a designer SE? When I sign up for videos, what machine should I sign up for since I have a designer SE? When you sign up for... Depends like, on the class. Course. Yes. Um, any, well, not any, the Husqvarna Viking. Uh, Eileen, I might need you to clarify your question just a little bit. Bit more. Is there a certain class you were looking at? Yes, um, the Embroidery Essentials course is great for the designer SE owners as well as the Husqvarna Viking Stitching Cosmos course. Sydney wants to know if the price of the Epic 2 has come down a lot. Um, you're just going to have to check with your dealer. It's all, I mean. Hi, <laughs> Hi Cindy. <laughs> oh, is she your dealer? Uh, I know. She's in, oh, she's a, one of our uh, course students. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, yeah. I don't know. Um, <laughs> <coughs> uh, yeah, it is still the top of the line. I mean, right. it, it's a, the thing is, it is a great machine, and with that comes, you, you know, you get, you get what you pay for. I feel mm -hmm. like <laughs> this year, maybe they've dropped a little bit, but I mean, it's, yeah, it's still our top of the line, and, and will be for a while yeah. more. Yeah. Uh, Roxanne wants to know, does the Bernina Serger have a speed control? I'd Jill? have to look. Oh, is it on on screen? Oh, on maybe on oh the maybe stuck. on the big one. Um, ooh, we're gonna have to get back to you on that one. Well, you might have to phone a friend. Ooh, which course is best for a brother thirty six hundred to learn on? I'm gonna assume your brother is an embroidery machine. I would start with the embroidery essentials online course, and then if you want to master more of the sewing side of your machine and understand stitches and presser feet. Join us for the Husqvarna Viking Stitching yes, Cosmos online course. It is embroidery. The embroidery one is awesome. <coughs> we have a lot of brother people that sign up for that. Can you repeat information on the digital footbook? We will put links in and so then... Repeat information on the digital footbook. We'll put some links in. And the digital footbooks, there's one for the buff. Um, feet and one for the Husqvarna Viking feet and they will be updated shortly and you will get the new update as part of your enrollment, not enrollment, but purchase. And then there are a couple free pages you can download. You can download with all the pictures of the feet. Yes, so it's like the two inside covers that you can download then. 
Yes. It's Cosmos for Beginners. Cosmos know? can be for, yes, Cosmos it's has Cosmos beginners. for Beginners. We do not jump into the most fanciest lessons. That, um, you build up. You start very basic. Um, we have taught this class for years in our store. We've taken everything, every question that you've asked and put it all together in an order that makes sense. And the idea is that you take your time and work through each lesson. It is, it is a journey. Um, you can actually go through the course multiple times and learn something new every time you go through it. And yes, we will post links on the Facebook page. We'll just we'll also put links in here. You can reach out to us at any time. So Liz takes care of her Facebook page. I take care of Heirloom Creations Facebook page and Sewing Mastery. You can email Ooh. us. And Tim has a good question. Oh, I'm excited Tim? about. Okay, Tim. What is the Laura Star iron that you would recommend as a good entry level? What's the model number? Laura Star Lift Plus. The Lift Plus. We will put some links in. <laughs> Here you go. Is that the link? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> That's the is one that, that the little travel one? What's the travel one? Um, <coughs> the Iggy is travel. the travel one. The Iggy one. is a travel one. That's okay. the one I want. All right. Uh, when is the next fiber exchange plan? Yes, it when is. When is the next fiber exchange plan? Sorry. Yes. I'm trying. <laughs> When one of us gets excited about a question, we just want to answer it. Yes. Okay. When is the next fiber exchange? Our next one is January 15th. We do the fiber exchange three times a year. You can find all the information. You don't have to be enrolled in any of our courses. We have opened this up to everything. If you don't know what a fiber exchange is, if you just Google it, you will find us. You mail us fibers. And um, it's, it's great for actually when you're doing like couching and decorative stitches over yarns and fibers. It's going to be great when you get your your um, ribbon attachment, attachment embellishment, embellishment attachment. attachment course going. I think it'd be a fun thing to do. What happens is is you, it's it's not like a chain letter, you know, where you send it in and then it's just like a thing. No, you actually send in your fibers, and I do it all lay it all out and then everybody gets all one from everybody we like i said we do it three times a year so you send everything to me in january may or september and uh, we'll include you in the next one that'll be kind of fun andrea wants to know about the quilt behind us yes Ta -da! you made this i made this um it is um oh i can't think of what the name of the collection is it's a, uh, you can get the designs from my Sewnet library. It doesn't matter if you are a FAF or a Husqvarna owner. You Those do not designs, have, to, you, you don't can, have to be a subscriber. You can purchase the designs outright. Yes. Um, She's looking it up for you. Uh, Let medallions. Me, yep. Is the Ooh. FAF font class more for beginners? I have a FAF, FAF quilt ambition 630. Yes, the, the quick font course is designed for embroiders so it's not for the ambition owners i'm sorry about that um but what this is was okay this is one design mm -hmm. two design three designs three separate designs and then i did on one piece of fabric and i rehooped 39 is it, times is it medallion <sighs> medallion no i don't think it is i have it i'll I have find it, it and we'll link it <laughs> okay we yeah we have it i have it saved as a to make yeah. um the somebody has uh, Kathleen has a 936 serger from who's going to ranking. The newest version would be the admire. Oh no, wrong brand. Uh, Amber Air 600, and it is a five thread air thread serger. Yeah. And I have them in stock if you want to come to Kentucky. <laughs> um, but it's it's a nice serger. It threads easily. It's it's very. It's it's a nice it, the threading. It just you know if you don't if you've never had an air thread serger before, go get an air thread serger. Is worth the worth the money you want to repeat the information of where you live where i live i live <laughs> in kentucky um our store is so a lot okay. and we are in centerville ohio and lexington kentucky our webpage is so a lot online um we have been a foff dealer since 1984 and a viking dealer since 2009 and very recently a bernina dealer Oh, we got clarification on the Bernina eight, Serger speed. So, oh, be so 860 on, and the 890. Uh, <laughs> regulated on touchscreen. Thank you so much. Yes. All right. I think we're going to call this for right now. If you are interested in the new class we are introducing, you can pre-order it. It is the FOF Stitch Creator Master Class. And we will be putting videos up. It does take, I don't know how long it's going to take me, but... 
uh, maybe two weeks max to get everything uh, edited and online. But if you can't wait, you want to get it ordered, you can do so. And it will be waiting for you, say, <laughs> shortly <laughs> when you're ready to go in there. Linda has a joke. Why did the DJ invite quilters to his gig? Uh, <laughs> he heard they know how to throw a black party. <laughs> funny on that note we want to wish everybody a merry christmas yes. and a happy so year happy so year happy so year we hope that you sign up for a course and learn something amazing and we hope that you share the stuff that you've learned yeah so thank you everybody for asking questions and again reach out to us we'll be happy that's what we do we we want you to be successful with your machines and if you need help or we can be part of your resource list all right happy holidays Bye, everybody bye-bye